Hello, everyone. I'm Jenny's father, Taeya. My wife, Hui Mei, and I want to thank all of you for being here. We know it means a lot to Jenny and Jordan, and it means a lot to us too. As parents of the bride, there probably is no better way to describe our daughter than to tell a real life story about her. <laughs> there are many stories about Jenny that we would love to share, but here's a special one, and my favorite. When Jenny was three years old, we took her to the Egyptian Museum in San Jose, which holds a large collection of ancient artifacts on exhibit. We entered a room where ancient Egyptian mummies were displayed. Jenny only knew about mummies from children's book before, so she asked a question. What really? Jenny said, are these mummies real? I thought she would be scared, and I shouldn't be too honest. <laughs> so I said, oh, don't be afraid. These are just fake, not real. <laughs> Jenny was relieved a little bit, but also seemed a little skeptical. <laughs> she looked at the mommies for a while, and then asked another question. Jenny said, are these mommies dead already? And I answered without hesitation. I said, yes, they died a long time ago. If you were as quick as she was, you probably noticed. We were not thinking when answering her second question. <laughs> and there was a hole in the answer. <laughs> this was what she said. Daddy, if they died a long time ago, that means they are real. Not fake. <laughs> Otherwise, how could they die? <laughs> Little Jenny couldn't be fooled easily. <laughs> she detected a discrepancy in our answers. <laughs> we were astonished. Wow, what a critical thinking talent. Boy, three years old. <laughs> At that moment, we thought we had raised a young Sherlock Holmes. She could grow up to be a detective. <laughs> Years later, Jenny started developing love for living beings. And that included the mice that I caught in my garage. <laughs> when that happens, she will always beg me to take her and the poor creatures to public park so she could free them into the wild. <laughs> when Jenny says she wanted to be a zookeeper, we were amused. We thought, well, zoo is a place for studying living beings, but it may also need a detective sometimes when animals go missing. <laughs> and at last, when she decided to become a medical doctor, we finally knew how her detective talent would truly be applied. Jordan came to our house when there were students in Stanford. We saw a wonderful young man who loves tennis, books, and nature, and study physics, the real science. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you don't see what I mean by real science, here's a quote by a famous scientist. All science is either physics or stamp collecting. And when we met children's parents, Heather and Dan, the first time, we saw reflection from a mirror. In one side of the mirror, Jordan, an engineer raised by two doctors. And in the other side, Jenny, and a doctor raised by two engineers. <laughs> two symmetric pieces of jigsaw now connect to complete the whole picture. So we know in our heart that Jenny and Jordan are perfect match and meant for each other. Dan and Heather, you are the most wonderful parents and mentors to Jordan and Jenny. You are also the most loving and graceful friends and family that we ever had. We want to thank you for loving Jenny and welcoming her so warmly into your life. Jordan, we are entrusting Jenny to you 
cherish every moment you have together and stand by each other always. Okay. Without further ado, please join us in a toast to Jenny and Jordan. Let us all wish the happy couple a lifetime of joy. <laughs>